What's going on YouTube? My name is Sweat. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In today's video, we're actually going to be going over a topic that a subscriber had mentioned to me, and that was that if you set your looked at zone to none, your recoil will be very controllable. Your recoil will be way less than if you have it on small, which I play on right now. So one, we're going to test it out in the firing range, and then two, we're actually going to play the rest of the day with my look dead zone set to none so we're gonna play a lot of games and then I'm gonna report to you at the end of the day and we're gonna see if my aim got better or my aim got worse overall but for now we're gonna hop right into the firing range and let's see after about 10 minutes what happens to my aim and what I noticed also guys I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if you're watching after this like I said though let's get right into it alright guys so what I'm gonna do in the firing range is I am going to just be using a basic stabilizer, a white stabilizer, a purple mag, a one times HCOG sight, and a basic stock on both weapons, the R99 and the R301s. I feel like these are the guns that I pick up the most, so we are just going to use these two for now. But I'm sure once we hop into some real gameplay, I'm going to be picking up all sorts of different weapons. So just bear with me. I'm about to turn it off right now, and we're going to see right now, as you can see, look dead zone is on small i'm going to turn that to none and we will get in to seeing what it does for me Alright guys, I'm back from practicing for about 5 or 10 minutes in the firing range and I did have a couple things that I wanted to talk about. First one being that as you can see in the middle of the screen right now, when we started talking my aimer was right in the middle of that target. Now it's down to the left, almost off the target completely and that is because my controller is not brand new and when you have your look dead zone set to none, it accounts for everything. So even the littlest, slightest bug in your right stick will make it so that your aim goes down into the left up into the right whatever direction your controller is messed up in so if you have a brand new one it shouldn't move at all but i don't so depending on if your controller is really messed up you might need to change this to large but that is about it another thing that i did notice this is a good thing actually is that my r301 shot was very consistent and it's barely moving with the basic stabilizer on it this is the white stabilizer so as you guys can see we're just melting these targets i'm not sure if it would do this without and i really don't think it would i don't think my accuracy was this good when it was set to small so that is just one quick thing that i did notice we're gonna obviously see if that is true when we start playing um, in real lobbies with actual people though because these dummies aren't really a good testing spot we're just we're just trying to get a basic idea of what's going to happen though another thing that i did notice and that is the hip fire aim i don't know what the heck that was the hip fire aim didn't really change that much it's still kind of difficult to control with a basic stabilizer as you guys can see i'm missing quite a bit of bullets but that's to be expected with a basic stabilizer. So overall, so far, I'd say it improved my accuracy quite a bit while aimed down sights. And we are obviously going to hop right into some real games now. And you guys are going to see what it actually can do against live players. All right, everybody. Game number two. Trying out the new setting no look dead zone i feel like my accuracy is getting a little better not even not even messing around i really do cut this guy off pull the old one two dinkaroo on him and then this guy oh my god like, can you excuse me, sir? I have eight bullets. Come on, bud. 
you want, boss? Oh my god, he's not even moving. Back up, my dude. Got this easy collapse right here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Easy, easy money. Holy crap. I got intense there again. We had to clutch it up. We got the job done. Oh my goodness. Whew. Let's go, boys. Big game, big game, big win. That's what we like to see. Oh my god. Three energy weapons. Gotta use the big heel. Back that ass up, my guy. Don't be fighting that. I'm gonna go up the other way. Oh my god. You're dead in a second, doesn't matter.
Who else we got fighting over here? No, that didn't kill his ass. I want to finish this dude down here. Nice, he got him. Let's go. Feels bad. Oh my god, really? Like... <sighs> What's up guys? Uh, something pretty funny actually happened right here with the audio. The audio was kind of scuffed for this part because my mom was actually cooking Christmas dinner and I don't know what happened in the kitchen. Obviously, I wasn't in the kitchen, but the freaking smoke alarm started going off or the fire alarm, whatever you want to call it. So the audio is absolutely terrible for this, unless you guys want to hear a smoke alarm, which I don't think you do because I really didn't even want to hear it. I was having trouble playing through it even. But right here, you saw we pushed right through the caustic gas. That was our only option right here. And these last two teams are about to push us. This is absolutely one of the craziest endings that I've ever had to a game. So, like I said, I really wish I had the audio for you guys, but I don't want you guys to be hearing boop, 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 because I was even getting annoyed of it. So, and it came through pretty heavy in the recording. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the rest of this clip, and I'll talk to you at the end of the video. Let's get back to it. I hope you guys couldn't hear that fire alarm because that was so annoying. Oh no, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Get off me, you're bad. Get off me, you're bad. Let's go, boys! Let's go, baby! Oh my god, that was intense. We just clutched up right there. Oh my god. Bro, that was, that was insane. That was literally nuts right there. Good game, fellas. Good game. I don't know how I survived at the end there. Whew. That was probably the most intense end of a game that I've ever had. All right, everybody. So I told you I would touch base after that game, and that is what I'm doing right now with you. And I just want to go over what I did learn by changing my look dead zone to none. And the first thing is that, obviously, like I said in the beginning, my recoil control was a lot better. So if you want better recoil, I highly recommend trying to change it to none. At least for me, it worked. I'm not sure if it's going to work for everybody. But for me personally, I can control the recoil very well on certain weapons. 
And also, for the single fire weapons, you guys saw I was using the scout and I was using the wingman earlier, but I didn't put any clips of that in. Um, every minute movement is magnified. So as long as you can perfect your aim with no dead zone, your aim is going to get better. My scout shot was getting better over time. The, the more I played the game, the better the shot was getting. And that's just because I could perfect my movements um, I don't really know how to say it. I could perfect my movements a little cleaner. And the, the smallest movements of my thumb would make the biggest difference when I was playing on look dead zone to none. And when it was on small, I'd have to move my thumb farther. And the movements wouldn't be as clean. So that is just what I found. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And give this a shot. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever done this. Or if you guys want me to try the advanced look controls, I'd be happy to test them out for you guys in case you want more precise aim in the future. I hope you all have a wonderful day and had a Merry Christmas. Peace out, guys. I just